everybody happy Sunday so I was not planning on doing a grocery haul this week or making a video we have been on vacation since Tuesday I believe it was Tuesday me and the fam went down to Cape Cod spent a day on Martha's Vineyard tried to relax and regroup because <laughs> uh, I start my new job tomorrow so I thought I had everything all set but I realized that I was out of bread. All right, simple enough. Thought I would just run to the grocery store and grab some bread. Husband told me that he was out of cigarettes. So I'm like, why don't I just take a little quick trip up to New Hampshire, grab him some cigarettes, run into Walmart and grab some bread. You cannot go into Walmart and just grab bread. <laughs> At least I can, I can. So I had two of the kids with me. I had the oldest and the youngest. So we went into Walmart. I did get bread. That is the key point here is that I did get bread. But I also got a bunch of other things that I just didn't need. One plan on getting, but I thought I'd share it with you anyways. I did find some uh, new things that I'm really excited to try. So I thought I would share them with you also, but also got some juice and convenient food. And I picked up dinner for tonight because I have been doing yard work been out and about just no time forgot to pull something out of the freezer so I grabbed something for dinner real quick so let me go ahead and show you what I got all right real quick here is my grocery haul from Walmart with super super glare sorry about that afternoon sun coming in all right so let me go ahead and show you what we got boom right here my six-year-old's like, Mom, I need some Reese's. So I grabbed the big, huge one. These were only $1.97. So I'm going to probably put most of them in the freezer and let each one of the kids have one as a little snack tonight. I grabbed two of these because, again, my husband will be home with the kids all week alone. And he will have to provide them nutritional substances while I am not here and at work. So... These are super quick that he can give to the little one for a snack or for lunch. She loves them. Even the older kids love them. So we got the ham and the turkey. Please don't look at my hands. I've been out in the yard and they are nasty. <laughs> uh, poke, my six-year-old grabbed these as her little reward snack for being good in Walmart. Grab some Hawaiian Punch Polar Blast. Kids love these got some Mott's apple juice there's an Ibotta I think like dollar back or whatever for those so these are gonna go in my back to school pile of snacks and juice boxes and stuff like that the Hawaiian punch the kids can have for lunch or whatever I grabbed some Arizona fruit punch kids like that my eldest saw this and she's like oh my god mom can you get this for me? All right, now look at this. This is called H Factor, hydrogen infused water. I mean, this thing is like, looks like it's about to explode. It says increase athletic performance, reduce inflammation from exercise and delivers powerful antioxidants. Now mind you, she does none of that. She just wanted to get it just to get it and see how it tastes. It comes in like a little food pouch type thing. And ingredients just say purified water and molecular hydrogen gas. That sounds healthy. So that is for her. I paid a buck ninety-seven for that. Buck ninety-seven for a food pouch of water. Some country time lemonade in the little squeeze it pouches. Kids love that. Grabbed my husband a new Zippo because he dropped his and doesn't remember where. All right. Some Bob Evans mashed taters. Kids love these and I like the taste of these better than like those microwave potato cups that you have to add the water. Oh, I do not like instant mashed potatoes. So I grabbed these for the kids as like a snack. They also had the Bob Evans mac and cheese. I grabbed two of those because I know that the kids like those. Um, the mashed potatoes, they've never had like the single serving ones. Usually I just buy like the big package. Uh, spinach dip, again, my eldest asked for that. 
I grabbed some ground beef just to add into the deep freeze. It was on clearance. Big Mama got herself some banana pudding. I've actually been having a craving for banana pudding and just have been too lazy to make like, you know, a big batch of it. So I grabbed that. I've been seeing this on Instagram. A lot of people have been using it. Uh, and I finally found it. It's sweetened condensed coconut milk. Yum, yum. People use it like in their coffee, obviously in desserts, and you can make a coconut milk dulce de leche. So I am curious to try this. I'm going to try making a dulce de leche cake with this coconut milk and I think there's evaporated coconut milk also. So I'm going to try to get the evaporated coconut milk. I know I've seen it. I just haven't picked it up. And then I do have a can of regular coconut milk. So I'm curious to see how that will taste very tropically. So I'm hoping to make that sometime this week. I grabbed some little root beers for the kids just as like a little treat. I grabbed some steam in a bag, baby reds and baby gold. They're going to go at my big old shikon for dinner tonight. Grab myself a rotisserie chicken. And now I've never seen the family size before. This is uh, almost three pounds. So this should feed everybody. It is the buttery garlic flavor. Got big mama some Altoids because I start work tomorrow and I don't want funky breath. All right, these are new. I've never seen these before. I'm actually curious to try these. These are Lucky Leaf Dessert for One. It's an apple crisp. Oh, make it in the microwave. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the directions? Here we go. Empty in the cup. Top with the pouch. Stir and heat. Yummy, yummy. So I grabbed the apple crisp and then they had peach crisp. They also had blueberry and cherry. But I just grabbed these two for now uh, to try out. They had all kinds of new goodies for like marinades and stuff like that. And I'm probably going to be doing a lot more crock pot meals since I'm going back to work. So these are going to be great to try. Well, I had to get some guacamole dip because I love guacamole dip. I like to keep these in the cabinet just to have on hand. All right. So we have McCormick's Street Taco, the carne asada. This is just to be used with beef or sirloin. We have the McCormick's Baja Fish Taco. This will be used with fish, obviously. Southwestern Ranch Chicken. Yummy, yummy. All right. And obviously that's to be used with chicken. And then we have McCormick's Pork Carnitas. And, oh, this says on here it's delicious in the slow cooker yum yum let me see did the other one say that no okay so the pork is the only one that suggests the slow cooker which to be honest with you when i make my pork carnitas it's usually in the slow cooker all these other ones though like cook up really quick like when you're making carne asada fish tacos those cook up real quick the pork is usually the one that you want to let cook you know slow and low all right, this is the La Toria, La Toria, oh my goodness, La Tortilla Factory. Um, this is the El Pastor Skillet Sauce Starters. I am probably going to try using these in the crock pot. I'm going to be a rebel. Use it in the crock pot. So this will be used for pork. Oh, well, they say here diced chicken. I will probably use this with pork. And then we have the classic taco. So this can be used with hamburger, yeah, ground beef, or I might use it with steak. See that? I am a rebel. All right. Then we got the Brazilian style, okay, Chur churrasco? I don't even know. It just looked tasty. All right, Urban Accents, your culinary wingman. These look really good. All right, so this one is to be used with steak, right? Flank steak or skirt steak. Yum, yum. And then another Baja style shrimp. Yum, yum. All right. So that is all for the seasonings. And then I grabbed some of these movie butter. They're only a buck. You just throw the whole box and everything into the microwave. And I like these better than the bags of popcorn because it's like a containment unit. For some reason, when my kids have popcorn in the bag, the bag gets ripped, stuff goes everywhere. It's just a huge mess. 
I like these boxes because they're neat and tidy. And then last but not least, I got my bread. I got two loaves of bread. So hopefully this will last me the week, but I know it probably won't. Halfway through the week, I'll probably have to get some. So this is my quick Walmart grocery haul that was only supposed to include bread. <laughs> But I got all this, so it will definitely go to use. The kids will all eat it, and we will all be happy. All right, so until next time, kiddos, bye.